I took it from this side, and uh, I mean, we got a bunch of tall guys uh, that can win the ball in the air, and he's one of them. And so he he was in the right spot, and he headed it in. So it was a good finish. I think tonight was, uh, you know, getting all the anxiousness and uh, nerves out, and getting rid of the rust. Um, it was our first game back, and I think the guys were, everyone's excited and ready to go. And I think it's just getting through that first game to where you, you get better and better every game now. Yeah, what, what kind, of, kind of team are you guys uh, looking to be this year? We're a bunch of young, young guys, yeah. um, which is good. We got a few uh, older guys, which we look up to to lead the team, and we got a core group of sophomores that were freshmen last year that started, and we got an exciting group of freshmen who add a a little bit of flair to the game, so it's 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 going to be young, but it's going to be good. We have we have two spots up front, and literally we're ro looking at five players. So we're trying to figure out. Well, if I'm trying to see five players, it's one thing. If it's four, then it's an easy sub. Half new two new players. So we got stuck there with about 15, 20 minutes, which is kind of the wrong lineup on the field. Uh, and then after 15, 20 minutes, we made a couple adjustments, and you know, hey, you go here, you play here, you do this, and. And then it got going a little bit. And then, of course, obviously they got tired. But, but I thought that that was kind of important was, uh, again, the first 20 in the second half was a little bit more on me than I think necessarily the players. Yeah, I, I was honestly real disappointed in the first half, just the hesitancy of the team and uh, thought we just didn't show much ability to, to play the ball laterally side to side, which I think we can do actually quite well. And so, you know, in a game like this, you, you're at least hoping that you do the things that you're good at because they make everything else so hard. And uh, so that, that was disappointing. I thought in the second half, we did a little bit more of that. We got a little bit more of the ball. We showed a little bit more composure. And uh, I was real pleased with the response. So, you know, it's a, it's a game of two halves. And, and uh, I think I can walk away uh, with some things to be hopeful about after the second half. What's it like starting against a team like that? Yeah, I mean, there, there's no doubt. And, I, and the first thing I said to the guys at, at, uh, at halftime was, hey, I get, in fact, we, we, uh, we talked about the fact that, you know, pressure makes you stupid. When, when they're at you the way they're at you, your vision closes down. It's hard to find things. It's hard to see things. It's very, very difficult. Um, at the same time, you know, we think we've got a quality in this team that can cope with pressure. Now, maybe maybe we can't cope with their kind of pressure. And fair enough. Uh, they're really, really good at what they do. Um, but I think you always come into this game hopeful that you're going to be able to do it regardless of who the opponent is. And so that's where the disappointment of the first half comes in. And maybe where the encouragement of the second half uh, is what I'm left with. How about Reed tonight, um, the goal and the assist? He had three points all of last season. I want to talk about how he came out and put his best foot forward. Well, again, there is a, there is a lot of competition happening right now um, in terms of what happens up front. I mean, you know, the interesting thing for me is, and we've talked about it, I mean, this, this system is, it, again, two things have to happen. To play with two forwards, those two forwards have to be really productive because you're asking the other, like even tonight, you're asking the four midfielders to cover five. So, so... You're asking a lot of work of midfield, and it does bring, you know, our relationship with Ish tonight wasn't very good. Um, and again, he was very comfortable playing as a third forward. And, and so today we had him run out of midfield, but we still would like to have him further out wide. You know, we'd like to be him in a position, I think he did it twice in the whole game, where he ran at somebody, got, it, got the cross, and, and crossed the six. And I mean, that, that's where Ish needs to be. So he needs to find himself in that spot but with us playing with four in midfield. And, and so these are all the things that we're still um, working through, but, but we got to get him uh, in a position where he starts wider, he attacks. Um, but that's predicated on us having both our forwards being very dangerous. Um, you know, again, so we're, 
it's uh, like I said, it's a little bit of a, obviously it's a work in progress, but, but the thing is, thing is what I'm talking about is they're small things, but they're big things when you put them on the field. Well, I think we're in a position with our talent to be able to be a little bit creative in midfield. Uh, one of the reasons why I think we can play with four in midfield is because I think that for every four players we have, I have a player that can play behind them. So I can run eight midfielders in a game. Um, but, but the key for me is still, um, the key is up front, you know, like, like even the, those chances, right? So we do a lot of work in midfield, and then when we produce, hopefully, chances up front, um, otherwise, it makes no sense. Uh, last year, we were very, if you think about it, we had two guys that could play that point very effectively, Campion and H. Um, we, we, we don't have that. Uh, what we have are forwards that can link up. Charlie's more of a link-up player and then gets on the end of a head ball. Um, you know, Dennis and Reed, who you saw tonight, are, are players that, that need to play with somebody. And then we have this whole list of players that can play underneath, you know. So Reed's on that list. Reed, I mean, you asked about Reed tonight. I mean, Reed only functions if we're in this system. If we go back to a 4-3-3, he's not a point. He's not really a wide player. He plays his best soccer underneath, you know, playing off of somebody. And that's kind of where he got the goal and the combination play. So, again, ideally we are able to stay in this, in this two forward setup. But we'll see. You know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's, it's an interesting proposition. I think we can do it. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna stay after it, um, but like I said, it it requires Ish to make an adjustment. Uh, it, it requires all four of our midfielders to have to defend. Uh, there's no cheating, and uh, and then of course if you're gonna leave Reed open, underneath the the back four, he has to produce. Otherwise, there's no point in playing with that player. What kind of what type of team um, are you guys this year? Yeah, I mean I, I I think we're a team that fits together pretty nicely. I think. Right now, we've got a pretty organic lineup relative to kind of guys playing where they play. And, uh, and I think that cohesion should lead to good communication, uh, should lead to an ability to calm guys down. And, and I, thought we, I thought there were a lot of situations where we could have settled balls when we didn't tonight. That's just an example. And, uh, yeah, I mean, again, th this is extreme for us because it's so – electric it's so fast it's so aggressive 